Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at heat of fusion. Remember, fusion is just a fancy word for melting. The equation is Q equals MHF. Make sure you're copying down all the samples, you're taking notes, and complete the sample at the end of the video and bring to class. This is going to be due on Friday. If at any time you find the presentation is moving too quickly, please pause or rewind this recording to catch up. Here we go. Definition is the amount of heat needed to change a mass of a solid to a liquid at one atmosphere. So basically what I want to do is I want to melt something and how much energy do I need to do that? So we're talking about melting and freezing, which is the same temperature. There's an equilibrium that occurs at that point. Again, that's the flat part of the graph, that's that plateau part on the heating curve. The equation is Q equals MHF. We know Q is heat, we know M is mass, so the only new variable is HF, which is heat of fusion. If you go in the back table, table T, you'll find the equation Q equals MHF. You also see that it is labeled at HF is heat of fusion. Again, fusion is a fancy way of saying melting. You don't have the value for heat of fusion on table T, so you have to go to table B to find it. And there you go, you find it right there on the bottom here. Heat of fusion is 334 joules per gram. It's a different value than we had before. So our sample question is, how much heat is released by 38 gram sample of water to freeze? Sounds kind of odd. <laughs> wording has to, let's, let's fix the wording. How much heat is released when we have a 38 gram sample of water freezing? That's better. Well, we know we're talking about heat of fusion, which is melting or freezing, and we're actually talking about zero degrees Celsius if we're talking about water, which is mostly what we're doing. Q equals MHF is the equation, which we always write the equation first. Our next step is going to be write down the given values. Q is what we're looking for. M is 38 grams from the question. HF is from table B, which is in the front of the reference tables, and it's 334 joules per gram. Next step is to substitute. So, we put the numbers in. We have 38 grams, 334 joules per gram. We're trying to find the heat, the amount of joules. So, we know that the grams are going to cancel here, and we're going to be left with joules, so we're on the right track. So solving, here's the grams canceling, left with our joules over here. And now we have 12,692 joules. We need to correct for the significant figures. We only need two sig figs. So... Our answer is rounded up to 13,000 joules. However, most of the time, or not most of the time, quite often, they'll make you put those values, that value, into kilojoules. So you have to change that by dividing by 1,000. Joules to kilojoules, you divide by 1,000. So the Q value will end up being 13 kilojoules. Here's your sample problem. Solve the following heat of fusion problem. Show all work. Bring your response to class. This is going to be due on Friday. How much heat is absorbed by a 170 gram sample of ice to melt at zero degrees Celsius? Now remember, there's no temperature value in the equation. So keep that in mind when you solve. Okay, good luck. See you then.